In this lecture, we start to discuss chapter 4, some elementary theorems on the distribution of prime numbers. For this purpose, we introduce a function pi of x for x greater than 0 that counts the primes up to x. Clearly, it, uh, it is a step function for the value of uh, this function, uh, here we take x and here we take y of x. So up to 1 or up to 2, the value of this function is uh, 0 because the first two prime starts from this 2. So at the point 2, the value is 1 here. Up to this 3, we have the value 1 and uh, from 3 onwards, we have the values 2 because uh, from 3, we can get 2 prime numbers up to 5. So up to 5, the value is uh, 2 and from 5 onwards, that is always greater than or equal to 3 and up to the point 7 and from 7 onwards, the value is 4 and so on. Okay, so this is the graph of uh, pi of x. Obviously, this is an increasing function or at least non-decreasing function. The asymptotic behavior of this pi of x is the content of the prime number theorem. Uh, it is proved that uh, pi of x is asymptotically equivalent to x by log x. It is termed as limit x tends to infinity pi of x log x by x is equal to 1. So this is what we called prime number theorem. It is conjectured by Gauss and Legendre in 1792 and 1798. This chapter is concerned primarily with elementary theorems on primes. Uh, as far as our syllabus is concerned, uh, we show that the prime number theorem can be expressed in several equivalent forms. For example, we will show that uh, sigma we will show that sigma n less than or equal to x lambda of n asymptotically equivalent to x that is as x tends to infinity. This is same as or this is equivalent to the prime number theorem. So we will show that there are some uh, equivalence forms for the prime number theorem. For, the, for this we start uh, two functions called, uh, this is 4.2. Chebyshev's functions functions one is psi function and theta function these are called Chebyshev's functions so first we can uh, see the definition of psi psi of x so it is defined as for x greater than 0, we define Chebyshev's psi function, we define Chebyshev's psi function, psi of x equal to summation n less than or equal to x lambda of n. Since Lambda of n equal to 0 unless n is a prime power we can write the definition of psi of x as psi of x equal to summation n less than or equal to x lambda of n equal to 
sigma m equal to 1 to infinity summation p lambda of p raised to m for p raised to m less than or equal to x we already seen this in the last part of chapter 3 so this is equal to uh, summation m equal to 1 to infinity summation p less than or equal to x raised to 1 by m that is nothing but this log p uh, that means the sum is always a uh, finite sum or contains only finitely many terms uh, in fact uh, the sum is the sum is empty if x raised to 1 by m is less than 2 that is that is that is 1 by m log x less than log 2 this is because whenever x raised to 1 by m is less than 2 there is no prime here so the sum will be empty at that point so we can write the sum is empty if 1 by m log x less than uh, log 2 so this can be written as from this you can get a bound for this m okay so this m is always greater than log x by log 2 so this is equal to log of x to the base 2 okay? so this m is always greater than log of x to the base 2 okay. therefore psi of x equal to summation summation m less than or equal to log x to the base 2 uh, that means whenever m is uh, greater than this uh, the sum is empty okay so we need to consider uh, all m such that that quantity is always less than or equal to this quantity okay so m is less than or equal to this this is the variation of m or m is up to uh, all the way to this uh, log to x summation p less than or equal to x raised to 1 by m log p okay so this is more handy formula for this uh, Chebyshev's psi function now we have the definition of theta function if x is greater than 0 we define Chebyshev's theta function by the equation theta of x theta of x equal to summation p less than or equal to x log p we already defined uh, of course this p runs over all primes less than or equal to x we already uh, defined the Chebyshev psi function we have a nice formula for that that is for x greater than 0 psi of s takes the form psi of x equal to summation m less than or equal to 
log x to the base 2 summation p less than or equal to x raised to 1 by m log p. So if you use the definition theta, you can replace this by theta of x by m, theta of x raised to 1 by m. So psi of x takes another form that is more convenient to handle sigma m less than or equal to log x to the base 2 to theta of x raised to 1 by m. So this defines, this is the relation between psi and theta. Okay. So now we will uh, show that uh, the psi by x and theta by x have the same limit as x tends to uh, infinity. Okay, so that is given by a theorem. Theorem 4.1. Theorem says that for x greater than zero, we have zero less than or equal to psi of x by x minus theta of x by x less than or equal to log x log x whole square divided by 2 root x log 2. This shows that as x tends to infinity using the lapsal rule uh, you can prove that as x tends to infinity this limit is 0. That means psi of x and uh, theta of x by x has the uh, both have the same uh, asymptotic formula. We can uh, consequence of this inequality is limit x tends to infinity psi of x by x that is equal to limit x tends to infinity theta of x by x if both exist. So now we can look into the proof. For the proof we write 0 less than or equal to psi of x minus theta of x equal to summation uh, the, uh, for the definition of uh, psi of x we have uh, here we have the definition p summation m less than or equal to log x to the base 2 theta of x raised to 1 by m minus theta of x. This is equal to summation m less than or equal to log x to the base 2 theta of x to the power 1 by m minus I write this theta of x as sigma uh, m less than 2 uh, theta of x raised to 1 by m. Uh, since the only possible integer which is less than 2 is 1, so this summation contains only one term corresponding to m is equal to 1. So that is nothing but theta of uh, x raised to 1 by m. So that is equal to 2 less than or equal to so this sum uh, contains the term corresponding to uh, m is equal to 1 2 and all the way up to log x to the base 2 and this is for m is equal to 1 so the difference with the difference between these two summations gives 2 less than or equal to m less than or equal to x log x to the base 2 theta of x to the power 1 by m. But we know that theta of x is always less than or equal to summation p less than or equal to x log x. Definition of uh, 
Theta of x is equal to sigma p less than or equal to x log p. So if you consider p less than or equal to x log x because log x is always uh, greater than or equal to this log p. So this theta of x is always less than or equal to this log x. So this can be written as log x times summation p less than or equal to x 1. So this is equal to uh, this will be pi of this counts the number of primes up to uh, x. So that is pi of x times log x and that is always less than or equal to x times log x. Because this is the number of primes less than or equal to x and that is uh, dominated by this x because x is always greater than or equal to pi of x. Uh, for x is greater than 1, this we have the strict inequality. Now we have theta of x is always less than or equal to x log x. So we can replace this theta of x raised to 1 by m as x raised to 1 by m log x raised to 1 by m. Okay. So we write this equation. We have 0 less than or equal to psi of x minus theta of x. That is equal to summation 2 less than or equal to m less than or equal to log x to the base 2 theta of x raised to 1 by m and this theta of x raised to 1 by m can be replaced by uh, x, x raised to 1 by m log x raised to 1 by m so we have summation of values over 2 less than or equal to m less than or equal to log x to the base 2 we have x raised to 1 by m log x raised to 1 by m okay so this can be simplified as uh, we know that m, if m varies over this range, uh, the maximum value of this is x raised to 1 by 2 log x raised to 1 by 2 because uh, if m uh, varies from 2 to log x to the base 2, we can get 1 by m as the um, uh, 1 by m has the maximum at 2. So this is less than or equal to summation 2 less than or equal to m less than or equal to log x to the base 2 uh, x raised to 1 by 2 log x raised to 1 by 2 now this is independent of m you can take it out so that will be root x and 1 by 2 times log x so root x by 2 log x so if you take this out then you will get this quantity as uh, the summation contains only 1 so that is log x log x to the base 2 uh, minus this 2 so you can replace that quantity by log x to the base 2 in fact we have a log x to the base 2 minus 2 here so if you remove that minus 2 we can get this as the uh, biggest value of that so this can be written as uh, less than or equal to root x by 2 log x log x to the base 2 then that can be simplified as that is equal to log x root x here we have log x and root x and the other log x to the base 2 can be written as log x by log 2 into 1 by 2 so this is equal to root x log x whole square whole divided by 2 log 2 okay this is what we have to prove in order to get this expression you need to multiply a numerator and denominator by root x then you, from this you can write this is log x whole square divided by uh, 2 times root x log 2.